Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You know it's your life, very life of Candy here. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's been a while, but you know I'm here. And so I just wanted want to bring this topic um to the forefront. Um, if you have a like, please like, subscribe, and click the post notification bell so that you can get my vlog when I upload it. But I want to bring this topic to the forefront. A lot of us are fall victim of narcissistic abuse and now we're basically thriving and moving from victim stage to survivor. But a lot of us don't really give us give ourselves credit. And I am here to let you guys know that give yourself credit for surviving the worst of the worst from being in toxic abusive situationship with toxic narcissistic people because it take a woman of good strength or even a man of good strength and courage to pull yourself out of such a dark place coming from such a dark place with being a victim of narcissistic abuse and I want to say this, the narc tried to destroy us. The narc tried, they tried to destroy us, but the blood of God, the saving grace of God, because great God favored us, why we overcome such traumas, because God favored us, why, you know, we could overcome the unbeliever. Because it takes great strength and courage to pull yourself out such a dark place. Yes, the, the narcissist did, did us dirty. Yes, the narcissist took us for granted. Yes, the narcissist abused us. Yes, the narcissist lied and cheated on us. Yes, the narcissist put people against us. But guess what? They could have put God against us. They could have manipulated God against us. They could have taken the favor of God out of our life because God had placed us and placed purpose on us. And so, because the purpose that God has placed on us made us come out victorious at the end. Because a lot of people are still stuck with a narcissistic partner, still stuck with a narcissistic family member, still stuck in narcissistic abuse with narcissistic people. But we have found the grace, we have found the strength, we have found the courage to endure and to overcome. Many people became victim and fall short. Many people is still stuck in that abusive cycle. Many people is still stuck with a narcissistic abuser, cheater, manipulator, an unstable, a dynamic person. But guess what? Because the favor and the love that God has placed on ourselves, we fall back into character. We begin to find ourselves. God gave us the strength and the courage, you know, to lock part, to discard the narcissist. Because guess what? We cannot thrive in confusion. We cannot thrive in, 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 in manipulation. We cannot thrive in traumas and depression. And so, as a survivor, we need to give ourselves more, you know, give ourselves more grace and, and give ourselves more praise of, you know, surviving the unbelievable. Because the truth has been told, a lot of people is still stuck because they, they are not... They don't contain the strength and have the strength to really pull their self out of such a dark place. And the split fact that we have find, found so much grace and strength and courage to pull ourselves out of that dark place from the uh, um, um, mentally unstable, mentally emo and emotionally and, and uh, emotionally unavailable, toxic person. To find ourselves living in our characters and living in our truth. You know, it, um, it has to take so much grace and so much courage. And so let us celebrate ourselves. Let us let us give ourselves, let us give ourselves credit for the strength that it has taken us to pull ourselves from being with 
you know, with a toxic abuser from pulling herself to know that, you know, I deserve better. I know my self-worth. I know my self-value. You are not adding to my life. You are not adding stability. You are not adding happiness. You are not adding peace to my life. And so, you know, I have, I have to exit. I see times and times again on the internet, women fail and remain stuck in the same situation because they are looking at basically what they build with the narcissist and not putting their and putting their mental health at stake just because of materialistic things not valuing their self because the minute you continue to stay stuck with a narcissist abuser you're not valuing yourself you're not whooping and letting yourself open to receive what is good for you you are basically accepting the minimum you are basically accepting things that is is not pleasant you are basically living in lie because basically living or being with a narcissist is basically lie it's nothing true a narcissist is just fake and 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 and, and have on a mirror pretending to be who they are not and so you know i just want to encourage my brothers and my sister who have discarded the narcissists, my Kandians, I call my subscribers my Kandians, and people who is a part of this channel, you know, who are survivor, who is striving, give yourself credit, give yourself credit, because a lot of people is now fall victim of staying in a narcissistic abuse, a lot of people fall victim by looking at the time that they are putting and not looking at their mental health, not looking at their peace not looking at their, their their value not looking at their words they rather put the narcissist over their self because staying with a narcissist you are basically putting the narcissist over yourself and so i'm just here to encourage you celebrate yourself you understand me celebrate yourself give yourself credit for coming out of go and going through the, the, the darkest of days because being with a narcissist is just going through the darkest of days, being manipulated, being lied on, being used, because the narcissist only came into our life to use us, abuse us, to, 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 to project trauma to us, to keep us in denial of seeing who they really are, and for us to really pull ourselves from being cheated and from being abused. I can recall Find being back in the situation, abuse after abuse, traumas after a traumas. And I when when I look back and exit the situation, I have to say, you know, thanks be to God and give myself credit. No one was there to pull me out. I had to seek help from God and believing in myself. And when you really hit that part and really stuck with a, a, a dynamic, an empty, lost, broken person that is projecting brokenness and emptiness to you. Only the grace of God and only you know what strength and courage it really takes for you to really pull yourself out of that dark place. So let us continue to, 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 to give ourselves credit. Let us continue to, to, to be grateful, you understand, for pulling ourselves out such a dark place with these dynamic evil people. And for all my tribes, continue to try, continue to love on yourself. It's a beautiful feeling, loving on yourself, knowing your word, putting yourself first, living for you. So let us continue to put ourselves first. Let us continue to embrace you know, living in our characters, living in our truth, and being who God wanted us to be. So, guys, hope this message was beneficial. I love you all. Love you guys. Continue, as I said, to place God as the leader and center and fear life. And I always say this. This is my motto for my channel. The power is within us and not the narcissist. Love, 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 and peace out. Remember, give yourself credit. Give yourself credit. You have done it. You have pulled yourself out of the darkest and the roughest of time coming out of narcissistic abuse. Peace out, guys.